Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be doing an Elementor Pro review. Now, if you don't know what Elementor Pro is, it's a WordPress page builder. It is a plugin that goes on top of your existing theme. And what it does is it allows you to build pages with its advanced sort of page building drag and drop editor. And it's got lots of different widgets and elements to help build your website. Now, I've actually been using Elementor Pro for about a year now, maybe just under. And I actually did a tutorial on it, I think a few months ago, which was pretty interesting. But since then, I've actually started uh, learning more about it. I've been digging into it, trying to figure out, you know, what's so good about it. And I actually learned a lot. Now, as you probably know, I am a Divi fan and I still believe Divi is the best theme for quick and easy websites. However, Elemental Pro has a few little extra things that uh, Divi can't actually provide or from what I've seen so far without an enormous amount of effort. So I'm going to go through those today. And just so you know, if you haven't yet got started with Elemental Pro and you're thinking about it, I have left a link in the description. If you do use that link, it's going to help support my channel. I may even have a little bonus for you, so make sure you check that out. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. It's going to help me grow as well as help you get notified every time I drop a good video. So my intention for the video today is to give you all the information that I know about Elementor Pro. Maybe you're thinking about upgrading. Hopefully I can justify whether it's a right choice for you or not. It's entirely up to you, of course. And um, I'm going to share with you these little few things that I've just found out that are absolutely amazing. And uh, I think they may change the game for a few people. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump behind the screen and I'm going to get stuck into today's training. Okay, guys, here we are. We're going to start off just on the Elementor website just for a second. I want to touch on a few points before I get into uh, sort of what I like about it, what I don't, and I'm going to show you how the page builder works as well as some little bonuses. So first of all, some features I've recently started using a lot more. Uh, first of all, the pop-up builder, right? The pop-up builder is really easy to use. It's just like you would... Um, use for any page except it just has a little slither where you can actually use the elements inside of elemental pro to create so the elemental pro pop-up builder is absolutely amazing i absolutely love it i've only just started using it um, it's really easy and really powerful it is a little bit niggly how they've laid things out but considering it's an inbuilt feature absolutely great i love that now integrations integrations is another powerful feature of elemental pro now they've been um sort of i i don't know if you want to say partnering but they've been talking with these smaller companies that are starting to appear around the place um, a classic example is a little while ago an email marketing company named moosend was launched and Elemental Pro has already got a native in integration with them right so that means if you have a form builder with um if you've got a form builder and you want to sync it to your autoresponder inside of um, Moosend, you can actually do that. While all other page builders don't actually allow access to Moosend just yet. So that's a classic example. It seems like they've been going out, uh, making connections with everyone and putting in integrations natively, which saves time, saves using a third party plugin and saves additionally paying for stuff, right? So that's really good. Um, I love these two things about it. And the other thing I wanna talk about is the amount of amazing add-on plugins that are available for Elemental Pro. It's ridiculous, I couldn't believe it. Um, there are a few that really stood out for me. I'm gonna mention one in this video, I'll talk about it a little bit later. But uh, it's a lot easier to do much more technical things inside of Elementor. If you're just trying to make a basic website, a basic blog, a basic services page, a basic you know website for a client, you don't need to essentially have Elementor Pro with all of the other things that you need to purchase. I'd, I'd say use something like Divi. Um, Divi is my daily driver for that type of thing. I've created hundreds of websites with Divi. It's so easy because it's got so many different templates and um, it's real easy to use. It's just like drag everything, right? However, if you like to create technical things and you like to have like uh, little elements that are a little bit more quirky, Elemental Pro is probably your better option. Um, there's a few reasons why and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what I want to touch on. Just before we continue, I'll show you the pricing quickly if you don't know, so you don't get a heart attack if you see it. It's $49 per year for one website, $99 for up to three, or $199 for up to $1,000, right? So um, I would unfortunately go on that. So $200 a year would go into the budget. And then if you want to get technical, it's going to cost you all the other um, add-ons from there. So 
depending on what your website's for, I'll actually leave a comparison to my daily driver in the description. I'll probably leave a little card around here as well somewhere um, for Divi versus Elemental. There's a few things about it um, you should know. Apart from that, today is gonna be all about Elemental Pro. I wanna show you these cool features that make me wanna use this even more. So first of all, I'm gonna show you a this is just a test website I've created called VidRankers. I'm gonna show you some templates inside of the Elemental Pro, um, the, the template bin. So as you can see, there is quite a few in here. Uh, if you come down, you know, we'll just scroll through. Just just so you know as well, there's not many in the free, um, the free sort of membership. So you'll, I think you'll get like five or six and the rest are pro. So um, the, the free version is basically just to give you a taster of the, the pro plugin. But as you can see, there's loads on here. And the one thing I do like about Elementor is it's extremely fast um, to load and to you know work with as well because it's um, it's coded so well. So let's just say I wanted to use this template. I just click insert. And in a matter of uh, seconds, it's actually going to load the entire template. And here we go. Right. So here is the template. It's all ready to go. As you can see, I've got my builder on the left here and this is the website and just to let you know this uh this theme i'm using is generate press press generate press if you're trying to um figure out what it is uh i'll explain to you why i use that in a little bit so uh this is the builder it's really easy to use right um if you want to add things you just press the plus you can add in your different types of sections like so um, if you want to use any different elements up the right here we've got a little dial pad and you've got all these different um, these different widgets you can use, elements. Um, just to let you know, if you're on the free version, you can only use these 10, okay? So there's only these 10 you can use. But if you use the pro version, you've got all of these as well, right? So that's really cool. Now, it's extremely easy to use. Um, I'll show you how quick and easy it actually is. So here I've got a blank post that I want to show you um, how fast I would actually use it to create a sort of template as you can see I've got a review template here so I could add in some text right uh, I usually make the layout first before I start populating it so um, this is basically what I would do this is my flow I could chuck in some more text um, what else we got I could throw in potentially a if I come down here have a look we could put in some reviews pictures I'll drop in a image so I would usually have like this much text something like that about that much in between so that's cool um, you can add headlines either using the the heading module I prefer to use text something I found out along the way if you want to use that for example if you just go to content here and use start typing in like um it's just like a normal block editor this is a heading right and you can just highlight it put heading two so that's how you can do that to style it it's all the same as the free version just change the colors and everything um so that's like the basic gist of it right it's super easy to do and i'll just give you a little quick another example for something before i carry on and that is the button Let's make it full width like so. Um, so you can see it's real quick, right? And if I want to change the gaps, I'm doing things super fast paced. Sorry, guys. I just don't want to hold you up too much. Um, but you can change the like the spacing like that, right? So super easy to do. Now, just before we carry on, uh, there are a few other widgets and elements that I find amazing with Elemental Pro. Uh, one of them is the share buttons. So I'll drag the share buttons in to show you what it looks like. Um, these are them here you can add in a bunch more so let's just say I want to call this like Pinterest get some red in there I can put in like VK oh no that's I'll put in WhatsApp green so having social share buttons available in Elemental Pro is amazing right it's a really cool feature that I do love um, and pretty much that's that's like some of it now if you want to start getting into some technical stuff, right? At the beginning, I was talked about, I, I liked playing with things because I wanted to um, get more technical websites, right? So the first thing I found with Elemental Pro is this add-on called Lottie, right? And it's an element that you can play with here. It's a little bit more advanced than what I'm used to. So I haven't played enough yet to show you a full tutorial. I may do it one day, um, but not right now. And what Lottie does 
is it's like a moving aspect to images or um, SVGs on your website. So to give you a quick example, um, this guy, this website is made with Lottie. And as you can say, see, when you scroll down, it moves, right? So that's really cool. So if you have a look at, you know, this, this tutorial here, you can do so many things with Lottie. Like I haven't even seen any other page builder uh, use this. There obviously is going to be one out there, um, but I found it really nice to see that this was included with Elemental Pro. It's really cool. There's also things like countdowns and all that sort of stuff. Uh, everything you'd expect, right? So at the moment, right now, it's a fast page builder. It is easy to use. It's fast to load as well as um, actual page speed. And it's got pretty much everything you'd need for a generic website. However, uh, at the beginning, I mentioned you could get into some technical stuff, right? And what I liked about it, so at the moment, we've got like things like basic buttons and um, like all, all page builders do. We've got like basic video boxes like all page builders do. Um, there's nothing really too amazing about it, right? And then I've, I've, I was uh, watching a review on the internet and I went to this guy's website and he had some really cool stuff. And I was like trying to figure out what it was. Turns out it was Elemental Pro, but he had a plugin as well. So that plugin is called Ultimate Add-ons. So I've gone ahead and got it and I've installed it and I've recreated this guy's page just because I like to, you know, see if I can do these things. It helps me be a better builder, things like sales funnels and stuff. So this is the template, right? So this is why I'm using Generate Press as well. That's what he uses. But this is the template. And the first thing that caught my eye was this. It's a, um, a YouTube box or it's a video box, but you can add in your YouTube link below it, which directly subscribes you to it, right? So that's one of the features in um, Ultimate Add-ons, which is really cool. And double, double, um, double line buttons, right? So here you've got double line buttons. As you can see on this basic one, we've only got single line buttons, but as a, in, any marketers know, like if you use things like click funnels, they all have double line buttons. So I thought that was a really cool thing having the double line buttons as well. Um, apart from that, I think there was a few other things. This is just the example. Um, but those two things made me buy the actual elements. And I'll show you what other elements come with ultimate add-ons. Now, I know this review is an Elemental Pro review and Elemental Pro is amazing. But for me, these extra features that you can have from this other plugin make Elemental Pro worth it, if that makes sense, right? So I'll show you these features. Um, we've got things like fancy text, which is typewriter text. So you can see you can change all the text in here. Um, I'll just style it quickly just so you can see it. Um, I'll just increase the, the size a little bit as well just so you can you can all see it properly so the easiest thing i've ever seen for typewriter text you just drop it in and you change the text right so i am phil yes i am hello you can see how fast and easy it is to change it right so that is another amazing feature for ultimate add-ons as well as um what else we have here that's incredible and um, we've got things like toggle switches before and after sliders like you'll see with lightroom presets things like that um, dual color headings this is okay um, there's other themes that do it better but that's still good uh, modal pop-ups which is pretty good as well it means if you click a button um, it'll initiate a pop-up like so so that's really good and what else have we got um that's pretty much it. There's things like reviews, uh, the marketing buttons, that one there, um, registration forms, countdown timers. This is that countdown timer there. So it's all pretty, pretty good timeline, things like that. I'm not going to go too much into the plugin itself, but having Elemental Pro as a solid foundation and having the ability to have something like Ultimate Add-ons is incredible. I'll show you a quick, uh, another website quickly that I really liked using Elemental Pro, and that's Blogging X. I don't know how I came across this either, but one of the features using, I believe, Dynamic Content, there's a plugin called Dynamic Content, which is incredible, but you can do these things, like how it's constantly moving around. Right, so he's using Elemental Pro as well. I believe this is the Astra theme. But things like that make Elemental, in my mind, so much better, right? Because you can quickly and easily create these types of websites that aren't standard websites anymore. They can do things that um, only either, you know, page builders could do. They do things that only coders could do. Now you've got all these different things that you could actually use with it. 
which makes it to me which makes elemental pro um you know the beginning of you know something amazing right you can really push your boundaries now there's a few issues with that as well i know if i spend too much time on elemental pro i'll probably spend too much time making my website look pretty instead of creating content which is one of the big problems um, i constantly face as well as um, you're going to have to pay more money for subscriptions, right? So it's, let's just say you got a $50 for a year for Elemental Pro. It's probably going to cost you another 50 bucks for Ultimate Add-ons and then any other plugins you want, probably another $50, this and that. <clears throat> so at the end of the day, is Elemental Pro worth it? In my opinion, yes, it is. If you just have one website you want to create, it's only $49 a year. It's cheap. Uh, it is limited to the amount of templates you can use. However, um, if you are someone that wants just, you know, oodles of different types of templates that you can use, I would probably recommend going with something like Divi. You can, however, buy additional templates, but then you're going to have to buy additional templates, if that makes sense. So um, something to think about there. And the pricing is pretty good. Uh, I still believe Divi is much better in terms, if you've got more than one website, it's pretty much the main thing. <clears throat> it also has a lifetime. Um, that being said, if you are making money online, it doesn't really matter anyway because you know you're making money. This is this is all part of it, really, trying to upskill yourself and that sort of thing. So apart from that, um, that's my review on Elemental Pro. I absolutely love it now. It's it's really really powerful and the ability to do so many cool things that other websites can't, other website page builders or other themes, uh, really make it stand out from the crowd. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly jump behind the camera once again and I just want to add a few extra things. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so that was my Elemental Pro review. Um, it is relevant. We are in 2020 right now and I did go off in a little bit of a tangent there, but um, it is a, such a powerful tool and with the amount of add-ons that you can actually have for Elemental Pro, it makes it an amazing option for building websites if you need to be technical. If you need to be basic, then um, it's still good just for the basic $49 for one site per year. If you need more than that, um, I would either look at you know getting the higher package or moving to something like Divi, which allows you to have unlimited for 97, I believe, a year or 249 lifetime. So keep that in mind. Regardless, it's a very good theme. Oh, sorry, page builder. I always get that mixed up. Very good page builder. Um, and if you want to check out a head-on comparison, Divi versus Elemental Pro, I'll leave that in the description as well. Once again, if you do decide to buy it, um, I have left a link in the description. If you want to help support the channel, please use that. And apart from that, guys, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you on the next video.